How many of you know people that are ungrateful? Okay. Do you enjoy being around them? Okay, so would you call them an attractant or a repellent? Okay, they don't attract great opportunities to them. They don't attract great relationships to them. So people, well, you might say that people that are grateful then would do just the opposite. People that are grateful will attract great opportunities into their lives. They'll attract greater opportunities into their lives as well. But what is gratitude? What is gratitude? So there's another level of gratitude that we might call social gratitude. Say please and thank you. Now we usually notice when somebody does not say please and thank you. We may not always notice when they do say please and thank you. But it's something that become, don't we teach that to our children? At an early age, we try to teach them, make sure you say thank you, make sure you say please. And so you move into that space of being grateful. We want our children to be children that are grateful. We want to associate with people that say please and thank you. And candidly, you're welcome. That's another step. Because so much of our language also diminishes other people's gratitude. In Espanol, what do we say in Espanol? When we say, when somebody says gracias, what do we say? De, de nada. And que, que quiere decir de nada? What does that mean? For nothing. Okay, for nothing. What do we do in English? That was a great speech. Oh, that was nothing. You know, no big deal. You're diminishing my gratitude. You want to elevate gratitude. So when somebody gives you a compliment, somebody says, that was very nice of you, no matter how you might feel about it, acknowledge that by saying thank you you're, or you're welcome. You're welcome. They go together.